never be met you. Too scared. That's not true. What about the hyena kid? Shut up. Enough, you two. The sand is so hot on my feet. Sometimes they light on fire. It makes you faster. <laughs> I want my feet to light on fire. It is up ahead. Can I come? <laughs> hey, your mother's waiting for you. All right. See you at the ceremony, Hamu. Bye, Chenzura. The herd is around here. We don't want just any stag. We want the pack leader. Which one is he? Big. Stay low. They will spot us unless we become like Amun, the god of hiddenness. Yes, Papo. We are the hidden ones. Stay with me. We can do it together. See? My eyes and hand are in line with the arrow. That is the only way to shoot true. I wish I could put a hundred arrows on this bow. Shot to the heart, hardly hurts at all. Let us get that pelt. We will take this to the Oracle before it gets dark. One day, I want to shoot an arrow through the sun. <laughs> you can. Your arrow will have to become Senu. Imagine, all my arrows are Senus. Then I'll be able to hunt anything. You said you'd like to see the Pharaoh up close. Yeah. What if you stand with me by his side? Can I do that? As my son and the future Magi, yes. Papo, what is a Magi really? The first Magi was a protector of the Pharaoh. But now, it means you must protect all the people of Egypt. Not just protect them, but work for their well-being. Oh, Papo, I'm so excited to be Magi one day. You know all the secrets of Siwa. What if I never grow up to be a Magi? Ah, of course you will. You are my son. But I get scared. I try to be brave. But sometimes it's hard. Hold on. Let's go this way. When I was about your age, sometimes I got scared too. Your grandfather was a well-known Magi. And he wanted me to bring honor to the family when I succeeded him. Yeah? One day, he took me up this way. At the top, he said something to me. A single word. <laughs> it changed me. One word? I got over my fear. I knew I could do anything I needed to. What did he say? I will tell you once we are there.
What word did your father say? Jump. Oh, I don't think he's ready. Don't think so long. Jump. Yes, Papa. Hey, trust me, you can. I do. I will. Uh, jump then. Come back. You're not ready. I can do it, Papa. I can. Ah! Oh, shut up, you filthy little shit. Help! Help me! That's Shanjira. I said shut up. Run home to your mother. Chenzera will be fine. I will take care of it. Magi Bayek! Go, now. I'm scared. I don't want to go home alone. Oh, then we'll just do what I say, please. Magi Bayek! I'm indeed Magi here. Who summons me? Sheath your weapon and follow me. You said you only wanted to talk to him. Come. Who are you to give commands to me? You piece of shit. We don't have time to piss away. He's in range. Make a sound and you're dead. What took you so long? Didn't want to be seen, sir. Kept to the shadows. We are pleased you have joined us, Medjai. It is of great importance that we gain access to the vault. The Bayek! I thought they just wanted to ask him a question. What have I done? Quiet! <laughs> Enough delay! Come! Papa. See that no one comes in. Are you hot? Go ahead. Try it your way. I'll leave my son out of there! Your son has something to explain to you. Would the Ibis show him the orb? We believe we need this to enter the vault. This is a waste of time! The boy is frightened. It's all right. Papa, they need you to tell them about the vault. They need to know how to use it. Please leave my son out of this! 
He will be discovered. Quickly! Talk to your son. If the vault isn't open when we return, you'll never see him again. Papa! I did what you said, but... Ah, it's all right, son. No? Papa, I can get it to you. What? No! Come on, don't! They are going to hurt us. Come on, Come on. This foolish waste of time! Come on, come on. Come on. Out of time! Tell us! So, I, I, I don't know. We must go now. I will cut the heart from the boy. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Stop. He will never know the afterlife. No, 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 I, I will tell you. I will tell you. Stop. I will tell you. No, no, no. for time. Stop. 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 This is mad. <laughs> The snake takes that as your answer. Yeah! Oh, no! No! Come on! Come on! Can save your own son. You are no one. My egg of nothing. Father to nobody. And here is your nobody. Well, you go ahead. May the hidden one greet you. The Lord of the Duat awaits. So far, the game is pretty interesting. It was interesting enough, I haven't seen a title crawl yet that I usually see. So, it's all just a prologue. Well done, my friend. Our hero returns. You brought joy to Siva. I should get to Alexandria. I need to see Aya. Don't be in too much of a hurry. Siwa will always need its magi. But you are the protector here now. I'm always pleased to help. Come see me when you are certain you are ready to go. We will drink beers to our friendship, huh? <laughs>
I didn't pick up the third treasure. It's in here somewhere. Not let them see you. There's one. There's a trap over there. Well, actually, a place that can be lit, a beacon, but the beacon can be trapped. I think I just see this sniper. Quickly, go! Where is Teramon? Moon. He has died from his wounds. His family will want to bury him properly. Okay, I can't <coughs> climb the body. Oh, great. And the RT <coughs> button. Puts the body down. Might be able to put him on the back of the mount. Yeah. Whoops. Have to make sure you don't hit the RT button. Just hit my own horse. Get out of my way! 
Bring sad news. Where is Issa? She lies here with her son and daughter. The entire family? Sadly, I see Terra Moon also paid the price for his recklessness. I warned him that his rebelliousness would bring torment and suffering. But what happened? They saw the soldiers coming and hid in the cellar. But the soldiers burnt the house to the ground to teach everyone a lesson. Ah, I am sorry. Put the body down there. They will journey to the Duat together. So many deaths in the Wahat. We cannot give them a proper burial. It is not your rebelliousness that got you killed, Seni. It is Ptolemy's sick regime. He is a bad pharaoh. Needs to be in exact position. Oh, here. Find peace. He will find more than he had here. There's a place right here we need to go and then I'll look for that treasure. So there's a specific animal I need to kill.
Oh, flaming arrow. Small heads. Yes. One shot can take him out, but you gotta hit a small target. Sometimes it's easier to let them settle down. No. If the entire bar is red, that means it's pretty much going to take it out in one shot. It shows you how much damage you're going to do. Which is an interesting thing about this game. Some of it's not automatic like some of the earlier games. So in other words, if you hit them, you don't automatically kill them. You've got to pay attention to headshots. You can see the level of the creatures above them. <laughs> With these level two vultures, one hit is not enough. I don't think it'd be a good idea to set the uh, arrows on fire.
it's gonna be a long one. They did look ah, nice. Be sure you are ready before you go. I must leave Siwa. There are others to whom I must deliver justice. Especially the one known as the Snake. How will you find these men? Aya has been tracking them in Alexandria. I must find her. She said she would be visiting her cousin at the Great Library. Great Library? And she said if you are coming to tell you one word. Serapis. Serapis? The god that Greeks and Egyptians share. Of course, I see. And Bike, do something about that beard. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. need a refill on Cyclosporin. Stat. Layla, wakey wakey. Mm. <sighs> mm. Future component. Don't make me come down there. Paying attention. Okay, you need to take a break. The animus is rejecting you. Ugh, I'm fine. Yes, but your kidneys aren't. Go add more cyclosporin before they shut down. Yes, Nurse Geary. That's medical officer Geary to you. So? How did it go? My mods are holding. Subject's memories are perfectly clear. If this doesn't convince Abstergo to give me a place on the animus project, nothing will. His name is Bayek of Siwa. The death of his son turned him into a killer. Think it'd be of interest to Abstergo? Don't start. You know, they're not gonna be happy with how he handled this assignment. They know I don't work by the book. 
Well, this time you lit the book on fire and then stomped on it. Anyway, none of this will matter if you're comatose. Now go get that cyclosporin. Got the cyclosporin. Two CC should do it. Don't forget the alcohol wipe. I wish I was there to help. You do a good job looking after me, even from the hotel. And I know how you like your aircon. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. Who are you talking to? Vyx mummy. Real chatterbox, that one. Oh, so it's attached to the body. The doctor from the very first one. Artifact person of interest. Hmm. One medical person, nobody else has to actually said anything. various games. This is all from three, I think. Yeah, it's all from three. That's the one from the first game. I think that might be from the second one. Yeah, I think they had something like that in the second game. Second. Uh, Brotherhood and the other one. And that's from this one. A mobile one that you attach to a body. Not disturbing at all.
information already. The guy from the first game. I think she's also gaining memories and knowledge from the, this is a two way street. She's picking up their knowledge similar to what Desmond was doing, what happened to Desmond. out of college. That's right, Professor Moore. I'm not finishing that Jane Eyre paper. I got a job, and I'm headed to Philly next week. This whole classroom thing, it's not for me. Mom and Dad are freaking out, but they'll accept it. I'll be working towards something real, making real money, and I'll be closer to home. Not that I'll visit any more often. Sophia promised there would always be a place for me at Absurgo, as long as I show them what I can do with a circuit board and a pair of pliers. Sure, I'll have to work my way up to a place on her special project, but that doesn't matter. It won't be long before she or her father, Mr. Alan Rickin, notices what I'm capable of and asks for my help on the Animus. Interesting. I swear, I get more done reading the latest copy of Wired on the toilet than the rest of the guys do all day in the lab. I mean, the body band? Really? If people can't take a walk on their own, they aren't going to listen to a watch that tells them to do it either. This is all so pointless. I should just go back to... Wait. That's probably what the body band would tell me to do. What I should do is build something that will simultaneously blow people's minds and the doors off the Animus Project. Nothing at Abstergo Fitness is going to be big enough for that. I'm bored as hell. But there's nothing like boredom to stimulate creativity. 
Yep. I think the body band needs a little adjustment to its language processing program. Engineer. The right decision always feels like home. My stuff's the same. My locker smells the same. It's like I never left. But I did. And I can never unlearn what I know now. How will it change my work at the Historical Research Division? Hard to say. All I know is that it will. Our Dom booked us a lunch. Eight years. Nothing fancy. She wanted me to meet Deanna Geary, my new medical officer. She looks like she was born in the middle of a cornfield, but she seems okay. I can't believe she left homemade cookies on my desk. I don't know why I told her about getting stood up last weekend. I never talk about personal stuff at work. At least it seems like I can trust her. You need that to stay alive in the field. Too bad most of Abstergo's tactical units don't consider trust a priority. Two years from now. Aho. Ten years since animus. I started working in. No mention uh, in the official Abstergo. credits, but all those emails, all those middle of the night phone calls from Madrid, there's a lot of me in there. Sophia, if I'd known you just wanted to strip mine my brain and leave me in the dark, I never would have followed you. Go away! There's no candy here! Nothing in life is ever free. Ever. The Animus. I can tell. I know it wouldn't have worked without my advice. Just look how they did the heat sink, the VRMs, the high amperage rating by transistor. It was me who told them it would offset failure of the... What's this? Hello there, DNA reader module. Are you ringing my doorbell? Maybe there's some candy here after all. I've come to the conclusion that Sophia is shit at hiring staff. The entire Madrid facility. Ugh. How do they not see it? It would be so easy. You just have to parse the genetic memory input and work from smaller data pools. You could even process incomplete samples and still create a reliable model for high levels of synchronization. The reader module and the decryption software would need an update, but it's doable. Madrid's probably congratulating themselves just for getting this far. Meanwhile, I'm partying with some congealed veggie curry, three plasma screens, a disassembled animus, and Raw Victoria's debut album on loop. Sahete. Dee will be mad when she sees how I use Milton's DNA, but what did she expect when she asked me for help? I needed someone's genetic profile to test the Animus, and, well, his was right there. All in the name of science. I like morning briefings. They're short, minimal nonsense, and they have free coffee. No downtime this week. They're putting me and Dee on a plane to Alexandria two days from now. I don't get why Hathaway's in such a rush. We're being deployed to extract an artifact. If it were a person of interest, the push would make more sense. A person could be halfway across the world in a couple of hours. But an artifact that's been sitting around for 2,000 years, it's not going anywhere. An artifact of high interest. Heard that before. It always ends up being some crappy pottery shard or half an old book. My animus runs on DNA, not tableware. It'll be strange visiting Egypt for the first time since 2013. Back then, I went looking for my roots and found trouble instead. It's good that Dee's coming. She always keeps me from doing anything too stupid. Turns out the artifact of high interest is also a person of interest. A mummy. And a golden opportunity. I've informed Dee of some changes I'm making to our assignment parameters. She acted mad, but I know she's eager to see my animus field tested. Abstergo won't mind. Well, they would if they found out, but they won't. <laughs> Hathaway's intel was a disaster. They have no idea what's going on with this extraction. Field tech is fun and all, but that's not why I left Berkeley. If the Animus lets me ride DNA this old, if the reader can model the missing codons and extrapolate the genetic memories that aren't mine, Sophia would lose her Abstergo. Abstergo will come to me on their hands and knees. My name will be right up there with Warren Vidix. And I met a kid, Aminda. Too bad the Madrid facility got blown up. But I bet they'll build a new one soon. This one will be in Philly. And its lead engineer will be Leila Hassan.
Going back in. This is so badass. Be careful! must protect this great land. Alexandria is where the snake thrives, and Aya lives. I must find them both. Yamu. Home to my old friend Menehet. He will be in the temple. He always is. Seems like there's a lot going on here.
Mammoths are the great library. There's a lighthouse over there. Maybe God help me. I am coming for you, Aya. Serapis, the snake will get his answer. I wrote this. All writings are to be copied by the great library. You can't have it. I guess the works of Archimedes, Plato, Sappho, and Aristotle won't have your scribblings to keep them company. Those are all in there? They are. I guess you can copy this then. Too late. Don't worry. How will I find no, Aya among all these endless scrolls? No! You can have it! Therapist. Now what? Ah, where is Aya? Ah, Serapis. I wrote a tragic comic pastoral epic centered on him. Ah. You're by, I guess. Aya's eager to see you. She said. Sorry, my good fellow, you appear to be drunk. This library is for serious scholars only. She is in hiding. Who are you? Ah, interested in Homeric verse, eh? This way, please. I am Aya's cousin, Phanos. Ah, yes, Phanos. Nice to meet you in person. Tell me what is happening with Aya. Why are you being so discreet? Gennadius sent his men on a house-to-house -house search. Often, they drag people into the street and torture them for information. Typical of this system we live under. Gennadios. A monster. The Philakitae of Alexandria. He is ravaging the city to find her. And where is she now? I have a very powerful friend, Apollodorus. No doubt you have heard of him. I have not. You will. In any case, he made a hiding place available to Aya after she ran into trouble. Yeah, but what happened? You do not answer me. It is a mess of political intrigue. She will explain all. Fear not. Look! 
There's Vanos. He thinks he's a poet. The modern Sophocles. You must hear his epic poem, Ode to an Annie Goat. <laughs> In heat! <laughs> this is as far as I go. The way to Aya is found in the monument ahead. Right there. Have a little faith. 